Hey fam, it's Lily. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining me on today's video. So before we kick things off with Beatrice Jam, I just wanted to cut in to Frank so I could show you all the updates I did for him. Starting off in his living room area, we added a new painting for him with some plants. And along this wall, we have pictures of floral arrangements that Frank did. And he's going to give each of these paintings to the townies. I'm going to have him grab this one for Beatrice because I want him to gift that to her. And I love the plants that we added here, the wall plants. And in the kitchen, I added a little bit more plants. I got him his tea kettle that I wanted to give him. And he's been making so much money off of his floral arrangements. It's crazy. After he finished eating, I'm going to have him come out here and harvest everything. I'm going to have him tend to his garden because we got to make sure these flowers stay good. And then we'll water everything. So Frank has finished tending his garden and he invited Beatrice over. And we're just going to give her that small print. So I was like, hey Beatrice, welcome to the neighborhood. This gift here is for you. She's like, for me? He's like, just for you. Aw, she looks like she likes it. Aw, that's awesome. So now that Frank did all that he needed to do for Beatrice, I'm going to show you what Frank built for the community. This is what Frank built for the community. It's a little space where they can come and chill out when they are first starting out. I like this area that he built especially for Beatrice. And look at it. It's all decked out in pink. He made sure that they had a tea kettle pink for Beatrice, a little rocking chair where she could read books, hopefully cookbooks or baking books. And then we have a bathroom over here where everyone can use. There's a shower and a toilet so they don't have to use pea bushes anymore. And over here, Frank contributed a mini refrigerator so that way they can enjoy a little bit more than just having the same granola, yogurt, and juice. So here they have a wider se um, selection with the mini fridge and the microwave. And this is Frank's contribution to the community. So now that we're finished here with Frank, we're gonna go switch over to our girl Beatrice and we're gonna start her gym. So we're here with Beatrice on her little lot. And look at her, now she wants to go back to Frank. Everything is decked out in pink, I love it. But I want her to go over here because this is the area we're gonna be working with open up these seed packets so that way we can start making some money on it. I did something bootleg. I gave her this roof without any columns, but don't mind that because I was just thinking if she is going to plant, most of these items are not in season, so we may not make money off of them. But I do want her to sell this, which is $19, 19 simoleons, and we'll sell this, which is 60. I don't think she's going to make a lot of money off of strawberries, but we're going to put them out. That's one dollar, three dollars, we'll do carrots. Since the strawberries are worth nine simoleons, we're going to plant all of these. And I hope they're not in the way. Yeah, I think we'll be fine here. And we're going to plant these carrots just to make sure she has some kind of money coming in. Oh, and I have to take away her money talking about that. Why do I forget that? There, that's better. Have her plant these up. Beatrice likes gardening, why not? And when she gets her own little spot, we're gonna hang up her picture of her flower that Frank gifted her. And let's water all of them. Frank helped her. Okay, thank you, Frank. Oh wait, we got more here. Let's put this in our inventory. And let's see what else we have here. More carrots. We're not gonna plant any more carrots right now. So we're gonna have her start, we're gonna put this in her inventory first. I do want her to start getting her cooking skill up. Clicking on here, trying to see what we can get her to cook and nothing is popping up. And I took away all her from her money. I just realized that I deleted the money also that she just got from selling the gems. So I'm just gonna give her back, I think it was like $106 or so. But let's give her that 106 back. I, I was going a little crazy not realizing that. So I'm going to have her make a salad, a family size salad. And I don't know why I don't have access to this. Because I'm playing as her. I am using the for rent system so that way I don't have to control Frank. And I don't know if that's the reason why I don't have access to build mode here. I'm going to just have her cook a little bit more. Spice Festival is in town. Is this beneficial for her? Spice Festival. Time to widen your palette and your cookbook, let's sample some. So maybe it is. 
we are here at the festival. Let's go over here and let's sample some of these foods together like she, they were mentioning. We only have $94, so we have to be careful of our spending. But here is the table. Let's try out some of this. Grab a serving together. And also, I'm going to have Beatrice come over here and harvest this stuff. Harvest out of season. No. What about this? Yes, let's harvest all the parsley. So it says, congratulations, Beatrice has taken her first steps on her culinary journey through the city. Eating food from the city unlocks the ability to cook it. I like that. And let's go over here. Harvest these and these mushrooms. Let's harvest those too. And maybe she can get Frank those mushrooms because he can use those to fertilize his flowers. Let's attempt the spicy curry challenge with everyone. Yeah, it looks like Beatrice isn't used to eating spicy food. She has failed. Who is this? Is this Ayana? Oh no, Janae. Can we say hello to Janae? Let's give her a friendly introduction. Yeah, it says Beatrice Jam has failed the spicy curry challenge. It's okay, it's okay. She's gonna have to get used to things. I'm not gonna have her order the food from the market stall because she only has 94 simoleons. Have her disc Gus fine cuisine and she wants to drink a glass of nectar like oh no you cannot spend all your money on this stuff we're about to get out of here she got a cowberry i'm going to show you a trick with this if i could get into build mode but i'm going to send her home now being that she's experienced the festival she was able to collect some new vegetables and she met a new friend so we'll see you at home and she also has flavor inspiration from discussing flavor profiles. I like that. That's awesome. Ooh, look at Frank using Azure's paint easel. Mm -mm. Frankie, Frankie, no, no, no. But I want to show you, I want to do this. I want to plant this cow plant. And once she's planted, I'm going to show you how we could get a little extra money. And I'm thinking I'm going to sell her taro root. Okay, it's only nine simoleons. I'm going to give those mushrooms to Frank and the carrots we're going to sell. These are $2. This is $3. Now, what are they? Summer? All right, so we can plant these outside. I guess I'll have her plant these parsley bushes over here, too. Let me see. Because I think the cow plant is 180 And if we sell it now, we get 475 Simoleon. So I'm going to sell that. And I'm only selling that because it is something that we harvested. We, I didn't catch it when I was fishing, so I don't think that's cheating. And now we can afford the Home Chef Hustle market table. And let's get that. And we just want to get one that has pink in it. It's this one. So we're going to grab this one out. Guys, I don't see her bread anywhere. Yo, I think they took our bread. I wonder if it's in... Let's see, if it's in here. That's not supposed to happen, right? If I made... If she baked the bread and she put it in her refrigerator, why isn't it showing up there? And we can't access Frank's. So I guess we are stuck out here with nothing right now. Maybe we can sell this for 45 simoleons and try baking it again let's try that again we're gonna have her bake all evening and i'm going to store this stuff in her table so that way it doesn't disappear in the refrigerator there we go perfect so we have one excellent loaf of bread perfect this is another excellent loaf of bread maybe we could do let's do a party size of hala hala let's that was so fast have her come over here and start this food sale and i could delete her ice cooler because she doesn't need it anymore i don't even see her pea bush because she definitely doesn't need that anymore i don't think she oh here it is yeah we could delete that stuff well actually because it's one i'm gonna mark it up a little bit let's give it to like 50 percent. she's three in cooking and we could give sales pitches that will help with um building her charisma and we can also introduce 
ourselves to our neighbors, so let's do that. Let's do a friendly introduction. Why, thank you, Rita. That was so nice of you to purchase something. Frank is not into our stuff. Let's convince him to buy our Hala Hala. And we're also going to convince Frank to buy it too. Because 18 bucks, that's a lot. That's a lot. That We could do a lot with that. Frank bought the Hala Hala. Thank you so much. And we're making good... Well, we're not making good money, but at least it's selling. You know, she just started today. Let's introduce herself to Cecilia. So she also has a happy mood lid from a satisfied customer. Nice. Okay, all right. You know, these little $10 and $18 are adding up. This is what I love to see. This is what we love to see. Who's this guy? Can we convince him to buy some Hala Hala? We want everyone to buy Hala Hala. That's 18 bucks for us in our pocket. So let's do that. Yo, we have mad people on our lot buying stuff. This is awesome. We have a little bit more time left for the market sale. So is anyone else buying our Hala Hala? Let's convince this guy to buy Hollow Hollow. Yes, they, they bought it. Go ahead, Moira. Thank you. <laughs> All right, it's almost ending. Oh my goodness. And this guy did too. He bought the Hollow Hollow. We have three more left. We're just going to give her a nice sales pitch about this Hollow Hollow. It's the best in town. Like, why would you pass it up? And thank you, Baco. I saw you buy that bread. Oh, and this is Umber's wife, Juniper. Let's give her a nice introduction as well. Let's do a friendly introduction. All right, and she leveled up in her charisma skill, which is perfect. Let's cancel these out. Let's end the sale, and let's just send our girl to sleep. Beatrice, you did a great job today. So Beatrice is up in the morning, getting her needs filled. She's already had some breakfast. I'm going to have her eat something else because she's still kind of hungry. I'm going to have her grab a breakfast burrito, and then after that, I want her to take a shower. And then we're going to go back over to her house, and we're going to start the sale again. So being that the berry waffles are worth 20 simoleons, but she only has to pay 6, we're going to do berry waffles. Hi, she has this moolid. Cold in the middle. She is so uncomfortable by that. I am so sorry, Beatrice. So sorry. I'm going to have her sell all of her vegetables selling all of that gave her a pretty bit of money that's good 276 simoleons let's grab the food our first customers are loading in we have frank and we have his friend derek and also rita it's nine bucks for the first waffles you know maybe 18. rita just bought the hollow hollow let's convince dustin to buy hollow hollow too plain waffles didn't i have her make strawberry waffles maybe not we're gonna have we're going to have this guy buy the lactose-free bread. Ooh, it's Marcus Flex. I haven't seen this guy in so long. Let's give him a nice introduction. Now, he's a health buff. Oh, and look who else is in town. Katrina. Let's say, hey, Katrina. Hey, Katrina, are you interested in buying anything from my stall today? Look at her. She's taking pictures. Everyone's taking pictures of Dustin. Dustin, this is not about you. And it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening. We'll have her end the sale up. She's bored. <laughs> Stale advice. Wow, that supposed life lesson was so boring. Beatrice has already heard that one before. So let's clear your table. Marcel, he pranked our toilet. That's why he was in here. And while Beatrice is taking care of this toilet, I think she did an amazing job. In two sim days, she has accomplished so much. So next episode, we're going to be doing more cooking, more selling on the table, and hopefully we could start building our house. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.